always on the lookout for awesome new gyms that have a hardcore vibe and aren't pushing the corporate model, which is why Metroflex Marietta caught my eye. Equipment, environment, and an awesome owner with a ton of personality that puts himself into the business 110%. This is Metroflex for the next generation. Metroflex Marietta. I'm Big Ron Partlow, and this is Mutant on a Mission. I've been checking this gym out for about 10 months on Instagram since the guy opened, and I'm excited to be here, so let's go check out Metroflex Marietta. Ryan. What's up, buddy? Good to finally meet you. How Glad you to be at Metroflex. Welcome, Metroflex Gym Marietta. So uh, this is Ryan Benthail from Metroflex Marietta, and you've been open since October, right? Yeah, right around Halloween I opened up. So about 10 months. So uh, like I said, uh, him and I were talking on Instagram for a long time, and uh, I put your gym on the list right away because the way it was looking, and I just, I had to come down and see it. So give me the tour first. We'll have a look around this place. Right on. I got about five decades worth of equipment in the gym. I hand selected everything in the gym. Um, I got all first, second generation hammer, pre-core, knotless, life fitness. I kept it as hardcore as I possibly could, but with the competition in Southern California with, you know, with all the corporate type gyms. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I kept it as fresh as possible. Yeah, for sure, man. You gotta have the mix of old school and new school to make everybody happy, you know? Yeah, so Metroflex Gym, a quick history, is owned by Brian Dobson. Yeah, you know him pretty well, right? Yeah, he's a very, very good man. He's a father of Metroflex. Uh, Arlington, Texas is the location of his Metroflex. Yeah. Branch Warren, Trish Warren, Ronnie Coleman. The Johnny, Johnny Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. All them big hitters came out of uh, Metroflex, the original Metroflex. Um, yeah. So I do call him the father of Metroflex. I kind of call myself the second generation Metroflex. Right, right. So I got high row, I got a low row. This is one of my, my favorite pieces. You got, all, you got all the best hammer pieces is what you want to tell everyone. All the best hammer pieces. That's cool, man. This is a cheap press right here. This thing will save your shoulders. My shoulders are fucked up, so I love that <laughs> flat cheap press. Yeah, you're, you're two labrum tears deep. Two labrum tears deep. I love the graffiti. I mean, you've got all these key words on the wall. Growth, discipline, discipline consistency, you know, consistency, honor, inspire, pain. So. Those words are words I live by in my life, and that's why I put them up on the wall. So you know, somebody's struggling in life or whatnot, they could look up and maybe get some inspiration. That's what a lot of the, these gyms I find the best gyms that I've traveled to, and I've, I mean, at this point, I've been to the best gyms on the on the planet. And there's that element is underlying in all of them. It's the owner went through a lot of stuff, and he wants to give an environment back to the members so that they can get through their stuff too. And, that, and that's what it's about. So I know you got a story about the pink dumbbells. I've, I've seen them on Instagram. Some people have asked me, what are the pink dumbbells about? So a few things. Number one, a shout out to Metroflex Fargo. He has pink dumbbells as well. Great dude. He helped me, you know, back when I was starting, um, but also, my aunt had breast cancer. She's she's in remission right now, but I wanted to just show my, you know, support. Yeah, and I, and I like pink. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, who did all this stuff for you? Do you have so, one artist? Yeah, so it's uh, my real good friend, one of my tattoo artists, Danny Hurtado. Great dude. He did that literally this close to the wall. No sketch. Just burned it out. I mean, that's uh, that's my Metroflex Jim Marietta second generation logo. Um, you know, it's kind of looks like me. 
<laughs> you bet, man. I like this area. So this is a selfie mirror. Yeah, you got, so you know with You got this lid pretty good too, eh? Good eh, cuts. Eh, good cuts. It's so, important. So I did this, you know, clearly, you know, social media is taking over and everybody likes their selfies, so I said, fuck it, I'm gonna put a selfie mirror in. Got some adjustable lighting here. <laughs> Unlimited tanning and membership, $34.99 month to month. Oh, you put it right in the membership. Right into the membership. And okay. if you want to just come in and use it on a daily, it's $15. Just come talk to us at the front. Right on, man. That's cool. I noticed he got all iron, all the way to 200. Yeah. So was that something you definitely needed in the gym? Like you were like, I'm not accepting anything else? So there was three requirements to a Metroflex. Oh, from the, the from franchise? From Ron Dobson. Okay. One, dumbbells have to go to 200. Doesn't matter what kind of dumbbells they are, but they had to go to 200. Two, you had to have three squat racks. And three, I'm gonna keep personal because I didn't do that. No, uh, no disrespect, Brian Dobson. But um, these are all Camco, cast iron, dumbbells, the old school. I mean, I don't do any of that urethane, corporate, Right, right. I also noticed you have a- uh, Anchors. You have anchors. You have like, like a pirate theme a little bit a, uh, in some of your stuff. My nickname's Pirate. Um, I'm a pirate. I sell salty. It's a salty life. <laughs> so the anchor can represent all kinds of things. Here it's anchored to fitness, anchored to passion, anchored to whatever you love to do. And that's why I symbolize the anchors. That's cool. I like it. Obviously, I want to remind everyone that the music normally is blasting but he turned it down just for Mutant on a Mission. We don't Bro. censor it here. Yeah, yeah. Bring your headphones. There you go, there you go. So you said uh, you said three squat racks was a franchise requirement. Uh-huh. So this is obviously the three racks, this counts? It counts, but you know, I, I do got more squat racks. Uh, obviously that's a uh, Texas strength competition. Um, I got a typical squat rack right behind you is a York. This big ass York came actually from the LA Kings. Thank you, Nick. Wait till we go outside, we might see a few more, but I like to call this competition corner. We got all the Ivanka plates, all the different bars. Hey, did you get these platforms made? They look custom. Coach Ray, man, Coach Ray. He's uh, one of my uh, favorite people here in the gym. He, he painted them to match my gym, but they were, they were his platforms prior. That's awesome. I always laugh when you go to a corpo gym and they have a lifting platform, but they don't understand that it's four slamming weights. Like, don't drop your weights. It's like, why did you buy a $2,000 platform if we're not allowed to drop a deadlift once in a while? I don't get it. You know, and I, and I, uh, I encourage to put the iron on it because I like to hear that shit slam. Yeah, yeah. Keeps you awake. Keeps you awake. On your toes. <laughs> <laughs> These are 100 pound plates. Correct. It's funny, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll have them there. People don't realize they're 100 pound plates. They think they're really d dished out 45s from the 70s or something. And I'll see them, especially the females will be pulling them and they just don't know why they ain't moving. <laughs> and I have to tell them, yo, th th those are 100 pound plates. Watch your toes. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's cool. And uh, so I love old body master shit. Old body master stuff is good. And a gym like this has to have an eight stack, but you went 12 stack. 12 stack. 12 stack, fuck it. Got 12, the room. 12 stack, this thing looked like shit. Obviously Body Master, they don't make Body Master anymore. Um, I obviously got that all refurbished to match my gym. Man, do you know what year this is from? Like early 90s? 90s, like 92, 93. That's fucking sweet. Keep rolling. So you got some arsenal strength. Had to. It's awesome stuff. It's great. The, the leg stuff's incredible. Now, how does this go over with your members? They love this thing. Females love this thing. People with bad backs that can't squat love this thing. Um, like I said, I got five, de five decades worth of equipment in the gym, and these two arsenal pieces are the only two pieces I bought brand new. Now, this hammer leg press is very interesting to me because I don't know if I have ever really seen this. Like, this is super old. Yeah, this is. But it's heavy as shit. Super heavy. Because the platform's high and the arm's long. I like this piece, I'd love to try it. And if you notice, my only rule is rack your weights. You haven't seen any iron on anybody's, on, no. any, on any equipment. No. I will call you out and you eh. will know. <laughs> Original butt blaster. Yeah, you know, this is, a, this is a very popular piece. Women love this. 
Now, tell me about this, because I know what this is. I saw it on your Instagram. So I want to know how you got your hands on this piece. First of all, it's a classic 70s Nautilus lying leg curl. 1971 Nautilus, hamstring curl, chain cranked, came out of Lou Ferrigno's uh, house. Nick once again came through. He's, uh, he's good friends with Lou. I actually want to get more Nautilus chain crank. It's hard to come by though. Yeah. This, this isn't the oldest, this is the second oldest piece in my gym. I have a bench over there uh, that one of my trainers, Bud, gave me. It's from 1969, this is 1971. Wow. So how's this working out for you for cardio? You told me you didn't want to put a lot of cardio in here. I personally didn't want to put any cardio in here. I don't think I've ever used any of it. Right. <laughs> but, um, you know, people do like cardio. You know, in my mind, super set, work out faster, lift heavier and faster, go move some ropes, tires, whatnot. But the cardio works, it's, it get used, everything's just used. So you'd say, uh... You'd say maybe you have an area for that. Yeah, we got we got an area for that. Why don't you show me? I want to check this out. Let's go to the yard. I got to put my hat low for this because this is bright shit. Yeah, it's bright Holy out here. Holy crap. So this is the yard. Did you have the idea right off the start to do this? So I didn't look at any other buildings. <laughs> this was it. I was sold. We had all this area in the back. I knew I wanted to do an outdoor or in Southern California, that's sunshine. Man, that's crazy. You got everything. So first of all, I noticed you're not doing oil changes. We're not doing oil changes here and we're not, we're not changing tires. This is actually a, a car deadlift. Um, we got a bunch of unique shit out here. Um, Coach Ray, he's uh, one of my favorites. He's, uh, he's a trainer here and he's uh, AAU national chairman of Strongman. My company's Max and I train all, all the different sports and the lifting and that. And I said, look, I'll bring my toys here. It'll help, you know, really expand what you're trying to do. So I brought all my strongman equipment, my Olympic lifting, my power lifting stuff all here to help this grow. Atlas stones. How heavy do those go? Our I heavy, don't even know. Our I heaviest need... is 370. Ryan Dobson required three squat racks. I got a few more. One, two, three more. So you got three, four, five. Five more. Five more squat racks. Fucking awesome. I have never seen anyone go through the trouble of setting up a Conan wheel. Did you have to fabricate this entire thing or could you actually buy a Conan wheel? Coach Ray got this fabricated. For yeah, sure. they, they do this in the strongman competitions. Yeah. You and know. Uh, you know, that's, his, that's the name of his game. You don't see these at Fitness World. No. They don't devote uh, 200, 300 square feet to a Conan wheel. They don't. <laughs> you, know, you don't. you don't see this at uh, hardly anywhere, actually. Dumbbells up to what out here? 100, yeah, yeah. I guess we got some more back there, but they didn't get used much. But yeah, I guess I got dumbbells out to 150 back there. Man, you know, you I got, got the yokes, I got the farmer walkers. So this is all yours. You can just leave that tire out all day. Yeah, but typically I tell my members not to. They should have brought that back. Right, right. So you'll be checking the cameras. I'll be checking <laughs> the cameras. I have never seen a more complete strong man and conditioning type facility attached to a gym like that. You know, the only gyms I've been at that had that type of strongman equipment were strongman gyms, and that's all they had. How many hammers do you need? <laughs> <laughs> a good amount we got, huh? You could have a hammer group class. Yeah, railroad, it's people. a railroad out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's something interesting. So I had a really close friend pass away uh, when, when I was doing my build out of this gym. My, probably my best friend in the world, he's like a brother to me. So I've had some interesting things happen here. I've had trash cans light on fire, and then I got these angel wings that just showed up on the wall, and we don't know how they got here. So I got people coming down here, standing in the middle of that, like angel wings behind them. That looks cool. So, you know, Chris Fortuna's always, always watching. Rest in peace. Man. That's a good vibe, man. So one of the things that I saw on Instagram that I loved, and we're gonna wrap up with it, is your shop. Because you got this real prison razor wire. Real deal. Don't be trying to jump in and Don't steal be my stealing merchandise. shit from this guy. So what do you got going on in here? Let's have a look so inside. So right now, all I have is my Metroflex apparel, but I am branching out and I'm gonna be starting my own supplement line. It's gonna be called Full Throttle Fitness. Nutrition, um, 
that's in the works right now. So that's all going to be going in this shop probably within the next month or so. And you, you move a lot of merch out of here. Like all you're day. mailing clothes all, all over, over the, the world. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm blessed. I mean, this Metroflex logo is custom to myself and, and Metroflex Jim Marietta. Even from the very first episode we did at Dino's Gym, I realized right off the bat that the, the owner makes the episode. If he's got the passion for the gym and he knows everything about it and it's all there because of him, and that's exactly what this gym is. So now, we just gotta train. That's it, this is hey. the shoulders. So Ryan Benthale, Metroflex Marietta, Big Ron. We're gonna hit some shoulders, right? Shoulders. Shoulders, mutant on a mission, coming right up. This episode is brought to you by Mutant Madness. Unleash the madness. Mutant Nation, you know what I like to do. I like to check these places out, but then I gotta road test them. So my man Ryan here has been nice enough to uh, put me through a shoulder workout, which I love. I don't have to think about it. You ready? Let's run it. Gonna blast it off. Let's do it up. So we're not gonna waste a lot of time uh, warming up because uh, my man Ryan here wants to run up the rack. So uh, the workout is the warm up and the workout at the same time. So I'm gonna follow you up the rack, 15 reps each weight. All the way up. And just pound it till you can't hit it anymore. Yep. Okay, he's gonna lead, I'm gonna follow. Let's run it. Everything pumping. There we go. Hammer those out, bud. I'm coming. Get it. There it is. Up. Up. Come on, four, three, two, one. Up again. A lot of reps by the time you get to the 30s. Yeah. Come on. Get 12. Come on. 10. 11. 12. 35 for 5. Get you pumping real quick. Come on. Up. One. Fail. Go to failure. Fail. Fail. Three more. Fail. Two more. Get that shit off you. Yeah. Oh. Rock and rep. Woo! Close that up. At the beginning, you're like, this is nothing. Yeah. There you go, your bar. Yeah. 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 Nine. Ten. Easy. Nothing fancy. No big name sponsor. Just a Pedialyte. <laughs> this is actually not even a Pedialyte, it's a fake brand. <laughs> Electrolyte solution. Is that what you're doing in the SoCal heat? That and Bud Light. Come on. Get it up. Come on. Dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Easy. Easy. One more. Up, up. Yeah. This is actually heavy. Good pace, Ryan. Got it. Okay. Nice. Bam. Three. Four. Five. Good. Try down another one. Let's go. Yep. Here we go. Good. Good push. Nope. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, another. One more. Come on. Up, 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 up. Got this. Yeah. A little too narrow on that. You might not pick it up just watching the workout, but we trained super fast. Zero rest between sets. We just hammered things out. Bam, 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 bam. You know, I think it was a pretty long day of filming for both of us, and we just wanted to get as much of a shoulder pump as we could. Bang, bang. Fill him up. Crank it. Crank it. There you go. Firing him. Pump, pump, pump. Fill him up. Training fast, man. Yeah, hopefully I don't melt my hands off here. Hang them on. Hang those sets out. So when we're doing the standing presses, which I never do, it was, uh, it was quite an experience because the heat was so crazy that the bar was super hot. I actually at first grabbed it and I thought, we can't use this bar, this is way too hot. But then Ryan did a set, so I figured, ah, I gotta toughen up, get used to the California sun. Rack, dude. My man Ryan, Metroflex Marietta. You know, I'm only going to the best gyms in the world, man. So hit me up, invite me to your gym. You gotta give me some reasons why I gotta come to your gym. It's either gotta have history, or it's gotta have soul, personality, something, something that's gotta bring me here. It's usually an owner like this guy that built a gym out of passion and his own vision with a great team of people. Everyone at this gym has been incredible. I want to thank everyone at Metroflex Marietta, especially my man Ryan here. Thanks thank for hitting man. up a workout with the old guy. It's been an honor, man. You know, anything I can do for you to help your gym, I know you've been very supportive in my endeavor up in Vancouver. All day. So I appreciate that a lot. I'll be there. You I'll bet, be there. Man. You got to come up and see it. Thanks, Mutant Nation, for keeping this show rolling. Season four, locomotive straight at you. I'm out. Come on, Dom. I've already seen you do it. Yeah, rip that fucker. Drive those legs. Drive those legs. Driving, driving, driving. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! yeah. Woo! <laughs> Go for two. Go for two. Come on, baby. Pull, pull, pull. You got it. Arch it out. Come on. Drive, 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 drive.